Hey guys, welcome to another episode on Kind Spirit Text. So now we are going to deal with uh, background uh, images uh, with watermarks and custom watermarks. Uh, so in order to create watermark, we need actual package. Draft watermark and we are going to provide some options in here. There are actually two ways to provide options. I'm going to say text equals to top secret options uh, should be separated with comma if you provide first page only equals to true our watermark is going to be printed only or our first page if we set it to default we are going to have watermark on every single page and i'm going to provide angle of 45% and scale to 3 so we are going to have 3 times a bigger watermark than uh, default and now I am going to import 2 additional packages lipsum for some uh, generated text and xcolor so now I'm going to show you another way to provide the option to uh, your uh, draft watermark. So if I use option set watermark color and in here I'm going to provide option red 50%. Uh, I'm going to set color of our watermark to red 50%. But why use this way to set our color instead providing another option to uh, use package statement? Because this option would not work. We actually need xcolor package in order to provide color in this way. And xcolor package is not yet imported in this moment. So I am using uh, this way to provide our uh, color option. And now I am just going to put some text to our screen with leave some command like this okay save it and let's see what we have you see we have our uh, top secret watermark over our entire page second page two third page two and uh, let me show you uh, that first page only command like this save it and now as you can see we have our watermark only on our first page uh, and not only that there are additional commands let's say horizontal position is going to be equals to two centimeters and vertical position is going to be let's say five centimeters like this and I'm going to turn angle to let's say 15% save it let's see what we have this looks a bit more artistic I would say okay this is a regular way to set a watermark but what if we would like to do something more custom uh, let's say we want to have some uh, background image or we want to have uh, let's say uh, two watermarks one on the left and one on the right but if you want to be creative that much you have to do it manually so now i'm going to show you first how to uh, put some background image to your text so i don't need this uh, draft watermark command anymore okay and now i'm going to use package graphics in order to import our image and I'm going to include image or better to say to include graphic as always my picture of uh, PS3 controller and let's provide some options okay comma text width save it 
but now I would like to have uh, this text over that picture in order to have a background image effect. Uh, you could do that easily with vSpace and set it to negative number, let's say minus seven centimeters, save it. And now we have some text uh, over our image. And uh, let's change this a bit. 10 centimeters. Okay, this is better. And I'm going to move this uh, image uh, half a centimeter a left with H space with minus 0 0.5 centimeter. Save it. Uh, maybe some more. Okay, this is better. I'm going to use less text. That's fine. Move it down a little bit. And now I'm going to change color of my text to white. I don't need additional option, just I'm going to set it to white. Like this, save it. And in order for this to look better, turn this text to bold. Save it. Okay, this is something more interesting. So keep in mind that this is not a regular way. This is more like a hockey way to set your background images. Uh, and now, uh, third example, what about uh, those uh, custom watermarks? Let's say that you want to set some piece of text on left side and some piece of text on right side from your text. How to do so? I'm going to delete all of this because we don't need it. And now I want to uh, use uh, top secret text. So. First, I'm going to change color to red 50% and say top secret. And I want to do it twice. Save it in order to see what we have. Okay, I'm going to change this color to black. Okay, this is better. Uh, and now I want uh, this uh, top secret to be bigger. Like this and rest of the text is going to be normal. Save it. Okay, this is better. Let's turn it to bold. Save it. Ah, yes. Huge. Save it again. Okay, so we have a uh, top secret twice. But now I want this uh, second line of top secret to be rotated. How to do that? For that, we need additional package. Rotating. And in order to uh, rotate uh, this line, I'm going to call begin rotate 180 degrees. And at the end, I'm going to provide and, and rotate. Save it and you see now we have our uh, second line uh, but a little bit off. We have to solve that problem right now with command H space like this and let's say five centimeters. We need to do it some more. Let's go with seven 
7 is too much, let's say 6, uh, 6.5, 6 okay, perfect. And now I want to uh, push this uh, leave some text a little bit down for now. With we space two centimeters. Okay, this is better. Now I need to create some more space in between these two lines. And I'm going to do it with we space once again. Let's see. 10 centimeters yeah it's fine I guess and now in order to uh, properly uh, rotate this entire segment uh, with both of elements we need to create mini page so how to create mini page with begin mini page and add mini page and now this uh, entire content it's going to be in between okay I'm going to save it okay what's wrong ah yes actually two things are wrong we need uh, width for our mini page and we need empty space in between uh, begin mini page and first uh, paragraph save it and now we could actually uh, rotate this uh, entire element with command begin rotate and i'm going to rotate it for 90 and entire mini page goes in here save it okay let's see what we have uh, first thing we need to uh, push this uh, entire segment down with command raise box let's say minus five centimeters and we are going to wrap entire rotate statement in here save it okay and now we have to push this entire segment to the right with command h space let's say 10 centimeters okay 10 it's not enough but let's manipulate uh, this uh, vertical space in between so i'm going to say 15 centimeters now and what if I change this to 5 centimeters okay better but not 5 let's go to 6 6 is much better and instead of 15 let's say 16 or 17 instead of 6 7 okay I am fine with this and now let's push this text up I'm going to use negative number let's say minus 10 10 is too much 8 6 point 5 actually just 6 is better and some more text and right uh, if you want to do this kind of uh, custom watermarks you have to do it on every single page manually so as you can see this method it's not uh, fast it's not easy it's actually quite complicated and very time consuming but when is there no other way uh, you have to make your hands a little bit dirty so uh, this is all for this episode guys i truly hope that you have learned something interesting so please like subscribe and see ya